Hello and welcome to ExcelExperts.com. This is the Excel tip section. You're looking at how to insert rows and columns and how that affects formulae. So suppose we've got uh, val1, uh, val2, and we want to add them together. So that's a number, that's another number. We could do equals that plus that. Great. Sum. And um, let's add a bit of nice formatting. There we go. So, in this case, bring that down a bit, this, this summation formula adds those two together. But, suppose we actually wanted to enter something else, val 1.5, for example, and enter that value. In this case, if we click on our summation formula, it still only adds those two together. But, let's get rid of that and use the sum formula. Now if we insert a column here, 1.5, and we enter a number, not a letter, a number, look at the sum formula. When we inserted the column, it included the new inserted column in the formula. So, if you want to include new inserted columns in your formula, then use the sum function. If you don't, then just add them together. This, this general principle applies to rows, columns, and lots of different types of formulae. You've been listening to excelexperts.com. Thank you very much. Bye.